Hello and welcome to vlog number 157. This week I'm going to talk about Tai Chi for Parkinson's disease. I've recently become involved with a Parkinson's group in Capfield, Norfolk, having been asked to give a talk on medicinal cannabis at one of their regular monthly meetings. My wife and I like the group so much that we now count ourselves as group members. If you live in Norfolk, UK, come and join us. We can be found on Facebook as Parkinson's Journey Together. We recently attended one of the meetings where a local businesswoman, Beverly Chilson of Milestone Therapy Centre in Stalham, www.milestonetherapycentre.co.uk, gave a talk on the various services that she could offer to people with Parkinson's. Tai Chi was one of the therapies that was discussed and she offered group members a taster session so that we could try it and see if it was a benefit. So, what is Tai Chi and how does it benefit someone with PD? Tai Chi is an ancient martial art that originates from the Far East. It involves slow, coordinated movements, meditation and breath control and it is claimed to improve and maintain health, help you to relax, improve balance, posture and gait and channel the flow of energy known as Qi in the body. Tai Chi classes are supposed to be relaxing and non-competitive, but as someone who struggles with such things, I question the relaxing element. Our teacher certainly seems very relaxed, but then he's been doing this stuff for over 30 years. Tai Chi classes are comprised of four basic elements. Dao Yin, which are simple warm-up exercises and stretches to loosen joints and ligaments and eliminate toxins. Qigong, which are exercises with synchronised breathing, designed to strengthen and balance the body's energy, help to reduce stress and aid concentration. Tai Chi Chuan, also known as the form, is a series of movements performed in a slow, relaxed and flowing manner, a kind of moving meditation. Each movement can be practised at increasing levels of complexity as the student learns and push hands practice, which I don't think we will be covering, which is a partner activity designed to help you to develop an understanding of the underlying philosophy of Tai Chi as a martial art. Research shows that Tai Chi can lower blood pressure, reduce the pain of arthritis, improve balance, reduce the risk of falls and improve mental health. My sense of balance has definitely deteriorated over the last 12 months or so, so any improvement would be very welcome indeed. Published in November 2016, Xiaolei Liu et al. carried out a study into the effects of Qigong on relieving the symptoms of PD. 54 patients with mid-stage Parkinson's were split into two groups. One group received their regular medication plus Qigong exercises for 60 minutes, five times per week. The other group received only their regular medication. At the end of a 10 week period, results showed that the group that had practiced Qigong demonstrated significant improvements in muscle tone, physical coordination, hand-eye coordination and balance. The study concluded that Qigong exercises could reduce the symptoms of Parkinson's disease and improve the body functions of PD patients in both the mild and moderate stages. Despite my reservations, I've always considered these martial arts to be rather arty-farty. I have now completed two classes and, although I'm not feeling the benefits just yet, I am going to persevere because everybody that I mention Tai Chi to reacts in a similar manner saying, oh yes, it's so good for you, particularly if you have Parkinson's. Well, I do have Parkinson's, and any improvement in my symptoms would be most welcome, so I'll keep going to the weekly classes for the time being. I think it helps that the group are all known to me, so I manage not to feel too self-conscious, and I'm sure that everyone else feels the same way. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you would like me to cover in future vlogs, 
Just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.